Hey guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Carol the Diva. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you like it here and decide to stay. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing some box braids in my hair. No, it's not not less, but it's gonna be cute, so stick around. For today's tutorial, I've decided to pre-part my hair because I feel like this is gonna make it a little bit easier. I feel like it might be quicker too, I'm not sure. This is like my first time pre-parting it for box braids, so we'll see. I really think it might be easier for some of you guys who have problem gripping the roots. I'm gonna be using rubber bands and these are the ones I have right here. The reason why I have the elastic bands in this little container is because I'm gonna add some oil on it and the oil I'm gonna be using today is one of my favorite from BTL. I have three of them. I had so much trouble deciding which one I want to use today, but I really love the way this one smells, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one today. I'm also going to be using it on the root of my hair or on my scalp after I'm done. So yeah, I'm just going to use it on the elastic bands. And I'm just going to squeeze it in there like that. Before I go any further, I want to show you guys all three oils that I have and tell you a little bit about them because I know you guys gonna ask. So BTL have the pink, the green, and the orange as you can see here, but I personally cannot choose a favorite because they all smell so good. The pink one is the very first one that I've used. I'm just gonna call this the regular one because I don't have a name for the scent like I do for the other two. The green one is called Tropical Glow. I really love the way it smells, but I especially love the tingling feeling that I get on my scalp after using it. So I absolutely love this one. The orange one definitely lives up to its name. It's called Tropical Paradise and it smells just like paradise. I very much love it because of the way it smells and that's the reason why I choose to use this one today. So there you have it guys, you could go to their website and choose the one that you like and also you could use my discount code to get 10% off on anything hair related on there. So this is the hair I'm going to be using today from Model Model. It's 72 inches extended but 36 inches when it's folded and the color of this one is 1B. But that's not the only hair I'm going to be using today. I'm going to show you the other one. I'm also going to be using this one on the tip of the hair to give it this nice orangey look because you know it's officially fall season and we are going to get ready for fall. I'm also going to be using my braider band today and the jam I'm going to be using is this one from BTO. And I'm showing you guys all these things right now because when I turn around and have my back to you, I don't want to be talking with my back. So if there's anything that I miss, I will just do like a voiceover for that. But before I do so, there's one more thing I want to show you guys. I'm going to be using this to hang my hair on and this is going to help me um, to get through the process faster because the hair will already be sitting there waiting for me. And the braiding rack that I showed you is also from BTL. Before I start parting the back of my hair, I like to part off the front. So I'm going to part from ear to ear right now. I usually go in the middle first, like so. And then I will take it down to my ear. I think it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to go smaller. And I'm going to use like a hair tie or something to hold it in place. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and work on the back with the parting. Okay, so first I apply some jam on the back of my hair, brush it in with the comb, and then I part out my first section. Now I'm going to divide that section in two because we're going for large to jumbo braids today. I'm applying jam all around each section, combing them through before holding it in place with the rubber band.
Now I'm going to move on up to the second row and quickly section that off. Now I'm gonna section this section in four, so I'm gonna divide it in two halves to make it even. And now I'm gonna divide those two halves in two, and that's how I get these parting as even as I possibly can. Okay guys, as you can see, I've finished most of my hair. I've done the back and I finished one side of the front. So I'm gonna go ahead off camera and finish the other side and I'll be right back. So this is it all done guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do something else before I start my braids. So here I am installing the braids and I'm gonna be speeding through this one because I just realized that I didn't cut the um beginning of it on camera so at this point i'm just adding in the orangey color pieces of hair onto the black hair that i'm already plaiting into my hair for this style i braided the hair all the way down to the end i didn't braid them halfway like i usually do and that's because i was adding in extra hair onto it I left about 6 inches of the ends undone and then I secure it with a rubber band because at the end I'm going to be curling them and dipping them into hot water so leaving them you know not braided is the better thing to do for this style. So I tried braiding my hair without splitting the hair in three you know just like I did that last braiding video I did but that was not working out so I had to do it like this I'm sorry guys if this is not you know easy enough for you but the fact that I clipped the ends of my hair I had to do it like this in order to tuck my hair properly because tucking my hair was like the hardest thing to do just because I just cut the ends off of it. I would encourage you guys not to clip the ends of your hair right before braiding it, especially if you're gonna do big braids like this. This is not a good idea, believe me. I worked so hard just because I clipped my ends before doing this style. But I've been wanting to do it so bad so I felt like this was the perfect opportunity so I jumped on it. Here I am adding those pieces of hair in to give it that beautiful orange ombre color at the end. So adding in the orange color, I only added three small pieces on each braid.
I'm all done with the back. Now I'm up to the side and I hope you guys could get a better look at how I'm installing the hair. I mean, I'm not doing anything extra here because I already have my hair secure with the elastic band. So I'm just braiding that synthetic hair onto my hair. And I don't have to worry about gripping the root because it's already nice and tight. So I'm just going to speed through this now guys because I know you already have an understanding of what I'm doing. And before I forget, in the back I have 12 braids and in the front I have 10, 5 on one side and 5 on the other. Now I'm going to go ahead and oil my scalp using the Tropical Paradise from the BTL oil of course and usually when I do my box sprays I oil my scalp. I don't show it all the time on camera but I do this because this is very good for my hair and my scalp whenever I get my braids. And then I just go over it with my finger. Sometimes I'll give myself a little scalp massage, you know what I'm saying? But right now I'm just rubbing it in with my fingers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some BTL foam wrap lotion on my hair. And if I was gonna skip any steps today, it would definitely not be this one because I know I have pieces of hair sticking out because of me clipping my hair. So this is gonna let some of those hair, you know, lay in place and does not look so obvious. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna make my hair look so nice and neat. So definitely had to use this. The amount of time I put this hair in my mouth today. Y'all pray for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl the ends using these little curling rods or whatever they're called. I'm only going to show you guys one time how I curl them. Even though I feel like this is something that most of you guys should already know. So yeah, all I do is just wrap the ends around it and then secure it with the little hanging part that's on it. And this is all of them curled and ready to go into the hot water, my friends. I already dipped them in the hot water, but I'm going to keep the rods on them while I do my edges and while I do my makeup and all that good stuff. 
to do my edges today i'm gonna be using my edge control from edge effect and i'm also gonna mix it with the foam wrap lotion that you saw me use earlier why am i doing this i don't know but i found that they work like a boss together so i think this is how i'm gonna be doing it from now on I'm gonna do the other side then I'm gonna go do my makeup and I will be back to show you guys the finished look and this is it guys how beautiful it is I am so in love with the orange here I try to stay far enough away from the camera so you guys could see the entire hair in the video so there you go let me also turn around and show the back to you guys oh my gosh this is actually my first time seeing it from the back and oh my goodness i'm so in love with this orange color it looks so beautiful it's so vibrant it is everything i also really love the curls so yeah i think i did a good job with it i honestly think that y'all should try this not just the style but definitely the color especially my females who really don't like bright colors are scared of adding bright colors in their hair i feel like you should mix it in just like this and see how you like it now i'm actually eager to try more colors what colors would you guys want me to try next my beauty supply store has all the colors so you name it i will try it also my beauty supply store carries btl products so that's something i'm excited about if i ever run out of any one of my favorite products i could just go there and get them let me know in the comment box where you live at and if you see btl products in your local beauty supply store so i have a giveaway for you guys for the btl bands like i promised but i just couldn't come up with a question so i never got to it so here we go with the question that i finally came up with i will give two btl bands to three lucky winners if you could tell me what month and date is my birthday you want clues don't ya okay well go on instagram or check all youtube videos easy the first three people that answers correctly will get two btl bands and i will choose the colors randomly good luck to you guys and please do not enter if you do not want the items make sure you check the description box for more details on the giveaway remember to check btl for the products i used today i will leave a link down in the description box to make it easier for you to go to their website if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate that also if this is your first time on my channel i would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i post a new video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye so this is it all done guys i'm gonna go ahead and do something else before i start my braids I'm gonna trim my ends look at them they really need trimming so this is the perfect time to do so so I'm gonna go get my scissors and I will be right back okay so I have a scissors here I'm not sure if it's gonna be sharp enough but if not I have others that I could go get I've been dying to do this oh my goodness I feel like this is the perfect time to do it now that I got my hair section like this it's just the perfect time and don't yell at me guys i know you don't like when i cut my hair but this is needed okay this is very well needed and this is how much i'm cutting off of each of them All right, I'm gonna put this in a hair tie also and do the back ones. I'll do the back ones off camera. 